Secret SSP Swapan Sharma from Rural Police Jalandhar. He has recently joined uh, Jalandhar Police Department about 10 days ago. And on behalf of Notice Board Jalandhar and the city of Jalandhar, we all welcome you, Thank sir. You. And I need to say a few words to people of Jalandhar and what do you think about our city? And uh, then we'll ask you some more questions. Uh, Jalandhar, it's a beautiful city. And my message to the people would be that uh, the police is available 24-7 at your doorsteps. Have faith, have confidence, and we are there for you. As a SSP rule officer, to uh, see our share-wise and the bed-wise and the youth, what are the expectations of the young people? 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 What are the expectations of the शहर वासियों तो ट्रैफिक नियमन का पालन करो रूरल यूथ अपनी एनर्जी स्पोर्ट्स लाओ पढ़ाई चलाओ ते सोसाइटी दी कोई भी वधिया कुछ चीज देखो या जिस चीज तोड़ा इंटरेस्ट है सोसाइटी में उधर बेनिफिट होए उधर चलाओ बजाय इसके कि तुझे ड्रग्स वाले पास पासे तुझे जाओ या गुंडागर्दी या बदमाशी या हुलड़बाजी जाओ तो जनरली रूरल एरिया से मैं यही अपील कर कर जाऊँगा कि छोटे मोटे मसले जड़े हैं वो पंचायत बैक के दूसरे सुबह हैं। There are few questions I would like to ask you, sir. It's just basic questions that we wrote down yesterday, me and you know we discussed what we're going to ask you that. What are we trying to do to get away from conventional way of doing policing, which was okay maybe two decades ago? Yeah, crime has evolved. The nature of crime has changed. We are facing the crimes similar to the Western countries, where carjacking, daylight strong arm robberies are getting so common in the city and the rural areas. So what? Uh, as a leader of this police department of uh, rural Jalandhar police, would you suggest that we should change with our international policing? I know there's a lot of things have changed with technology, the cyber crime, you know, things are happening. But uh, what should we do to tackle it much better than we are doing it today? Your question, it has got three parts. First is the change between conventional and uh, what we are doing now. The basic concept is about transparency. Whatever you do, it should be in the public domain. Number one. Second part of the question was the evolving crime. Crime as such in a society which grows, crime is bound to happen. The issue is how to prevent it. A, part A, how to detect it if crime happens. And third is how to take a crime to its logical legal end. Part A, how to prevent it. It's all about visibility. Visibility of police in the streets, on the roads, acts as a deterrent. It controls crime, but not to that extent. Second is when any crime happens. Then the issue arises how efficiently you tackle it, you solve it. Third point is taking the crime which has already occurred to its logical and legal end. Like a lot of Western countries uh, uh, with the crime rate so high per capita, as we said, uh, per capita police officer per thousand is probably in single digits in Jalanda. Uh, I won't even say there are 10 police officers per thousand. So police cannot be everywhere all the time at every nook and corner of the city. So what these similar problems are being faced by big over-the-top countries like United States, Canada, Australia. So what they have been doing for the last 20 years, 15 years, they involve the community. Jadasi Punjabi Canada Pinda which particularly para lagda ho desi. They call it a community uh, neighborhood watches. You know, apne apne neighborhood di protection karo. There are volunteers who patrol the streets in conjunction with the local police department. You know, naal naal mein ke kaam karte hai. They are unpaid volunteer services. They apne area ko kisi ne save kora na ma. They have to have extra eyes and ears. Itna ne program bhi aisi koi implement kar sakte hai ki aisi community. We have already a wing under the Punjab Police. It has a wing. Under an ADGP level officer okay. by the name of Community Police. We have got 
सांझ के अंदर से वेयर सर्विसेज आर बी प्रोवाइडेड टू द जनरल पब्लिक थर्ड यू टॉक अबाउट थीकरी पैपराज एंड वॉल्टियर्स येस वी डू हैव इन द रूरल एरियाज वी हैव स्पोर्ट्स क्लब्स यूथ क्लब्स वी हैव ट्रैफिक मार्शल्स बट दे आर नॉट utilized by us on daily basis okay sometimes when there is some some sort of a festival some duty some vip is visiting or sometimes if we need to aware, we need to make the people aware about the certain aspects like cyber crime uh narcotics drugs that is the time we take help and involve the community another thing is there is lot of distrust between the general public and the person in uniform which is the face of the police department they will seldom see you in the field because you are doing your administrative work so your ambassadors are the people who are on the streets and the narcos patrolling and there is a, a local uh, like a disattached they are like they are not attached they don't want to see the cop they don't want to interact with the cop there's a trust issue here so what we should do uh, like uh, do community policing community policing in the sense is an uh, officer should go approach public and introduce themselves hey you know what i am the chokey in charge or i am the naka in charge or i am your zone in charge uh, if there's any problem feel free to call us these are our numbers well not for like you know jada which is like gap hai gawa oh bada kaat ho raha shuru ho jayega the distrust khatam ho jayega around to this this distrust between the police and the general public it is everywhere in the world it is there in the developed yes world. it is there in the developing countries and it is bound to happen because police it's a uniform service yes. and it represents a symbol of authority now to uh, have people to people contact police to people contact in a more healthy and a more uh, refreshing environment we do organize seminars we do have village visits we uh, do involve the local uh, panchayati raj institutions and to a very large extent we try our best that this gap is uh, minimal okay last but not the least uh, i've been uh, interacting with a lot of police officers on ground especially in the covid uh, time you know we were all in the curfew time we were all out volunteering providing uh, volunteers to them even uh, our former commissioner of police uh, had given us all commendation letters for that i had provided about 25 in model down with the uh, collaboration with our councilor arun arora ji and uh, the the issue uh, which 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 starts and stops with is the trust issue which we already discussed that that is prevalent all over the world the the most part with my dealing with the police officers or constables was very pleasant at that time i had never had a negative interaction with any on ground police officer there are few exceptions which uh, which is bound to be i guess my concern is that uh, when a police officer approaches a member of the general public regardless of his economic status he could be a rickshaw wala or he could be a multi billionaire mall owner the way they approach them is different the way they speak to them is different there is a condescending tone comes out of uh, the police officer's voice which is almost more like disrespect jida gal kar oi kuch karao gaddi chala kai kar rahe and if i was the one driving a audi that police officer would never talk to me like that you say shriman ji apne vishwas de ho apna kaam kar dao so that uh, is not a like a overall thing happening but it's a isolated incident to happen which is majority of those officers are old school how say over the age of 50 you know all the new officers are dealt with they were very polite very respectful and they they dealt with the general public like like they're dealing with somebody their equal not their lesser than them who would you say about that I'll answer your question in two parts. First, 
based blind heinous crime cases taking control of organized crime organized crime uh, executed by gangsters or bootleggers or contraband smugglers or weapon smugglers etc and etc yes now you talk about old school and how to how uh, the old school deals with the general public we need to realize that a police man in his 40 35 to 40 years of career they don't have any holiday they don't rest but that's also very there all festivals all guested holidays they are on the spot they get up in the morning they go for their roll call and in the night time they get free in the night time. they don't have time for anything in their life except policing and except public being a police officer i would say that some things if any police officer is not that uh, polite in talking one should have a large heart one should have a large heart one needs to realize that these are the people who are standing on the roads on the junctions night time anything happens you call up the emergency numbers they are there so they should be appreciated yes this is my point to share any news incidents or to highlight any genuine social issues contact notice board admins moderators through facebook messenger or you can contact whatsapp 8847587649